Okay, hi everybody. Uh, my name is Dee Dee and I'm from Haunted Curiosities. And we're doing a home investigation today of two people who have experienced um, some very serious paranormal activity. Um, things floating in the air, um, there's a history to the house, and now I'm going to focus on um, Tim Shaheda, is that correct? How do you say your last name? Who was also a member of the band Kicks. The Kicks, okay. And here he is right here. Um, Tim, go ahead and tell us a little bit about the history of the house. Well, I was told by neighbors that the house was owned by a lady by the name of Pearl Sirewine. And what she did is she used to own the clothing factory, which was the Jubilee Ministries, where they made clothing for like the armies, like the Mennonites, the Masons, or Quakers, or whatever. They just had a clothing shop over there. And her mansion was at this residence here at 1220 Lafayette Street. I only been here two years living with Larry. This is Larry's house. Take some pictures around to get orbs while I uh, do this interview. And the history has it that Pearl had the house and before this modular was put on this foundation, it used to be one big mansion. And this lady would help homeless people from the streets and needed family, abuse wives or whatever. And the story has it, a teenage boy was up one night smoking in his bed or something, caught on fire and it had killed him and another 16 year old girl. Two years later, Pearl had everything cleaned off the property and rebuilt a modular on the foundation. Okay. And had it for about two and a half years, then she passed on in the same area where Larry loves to sit. Okay. So we have three deaths recorded to this address. Now what has happened since you guys have lived here? Well, Larry said strange things has happened, the behavior of his ex-wife, Ruth, for one, you know, and <coughs> I don't, he would have to say. Okay, well let me ask you, Patty. Yes. Um, you believe that there's some kind of, um, a, that the haunting has an occult nature to it? And yes. if you could just speak up just to make sure I'm getting out. Yes. Um um, Ruth, uh, before I came here, she doubted me a cult. Uh, she was a witch in a covenant. Now, 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 who was Ruth? Um, Larry's ex-wife. Ex okay, the ex-wife. Yes. Okay. Larry Brenton, the guy that owns and, his house. And did she perform some of those practices here I in the believe, house? Yes, I believe she did. Larry, can I ask you, did, did, she, per, did she perform Larry. a lot of her... Not in my sight. Not in... No. Yeah, not in... But she, I wouldn't tolerate with it. You wouldn't tolerate with it. But but when you weren't she here... That. Did she do any of it in the basement at all? I have no idea. Okay. Now, you you believe that some of the energy remains here. Is that correct, Patty? Yes. Yes. And what are some of the things that you've seen? I know that you have seen things um, suspended um, in air. We have seen several things uh, thrown through the air. I mean, what particularly you know, I could tell. I, what was particularly interesting was the fact that one day we had a, a guy that did spiritual warfare, uh, Pastor Harrod. Okay. Is his name Richard or Robert? We had called Richard, Pastor Richard Harrod. Richard Harrod of Harrisburg. Okay. And what had happened is, upon him being present, before he came out, we were on the phone. And we started hearing things in the walls, like something smacking the walls and that. Me and Larry, and we buzzing. started hearing humming and buzzing noises. Weird stuff. And then it was like that he couldn't night hear us hardly. in we bed, talking. that's when I saw an apparition. Yeah. I saw a figure go Plugged. through the bathroom wall where Dee Dee's, where yeah. Lindsay's at. Lindsay, yeah. Yeah, okay. over in there. Was it male or female? It looked like a female. Yeah. Do you think the entities in the house are of good nature or bad nature? Both. 
Both. Both. I think it's both. Okay, so I, do you think the good ones are the ones that were here from the fire? No. No. Well, who are the good ones? Pearl. Pearl. I think Definitely. Pearl is sorry. Okay, and who do you, th and, and now do you, Patty, do you think that Larry's wife dabbling in the cult could have conjured evil entities? Is that what you think, think is going on? I think the doorway to the evil entities that were here. Uh, like I was trying to say before Tim interrupted me a while ago, when, before Tim got out, we had at Ruth exercised by Pastor Harrod. Okay. With spiritual house. warfare, right in this house, right over there, uh, where the bicycle's at, around that area right there was parked, okay, where the bicycle is. The cat where her body off, lifted off the chair where and was thrown into her body actually lifted a, off the chair and was thrown right off into a uh, container of water. Okay. A of water, a big, great big pellet of water. She actually flew through the air. I actually seen it. <clears throat> I didn't think that Larry, stuff was possible, and I saw it. Did Larry also saw it? Did you not, Larry? Yeah. She was sitting, and she went flying through the air. Okay, well, let's take a trip to the basement because I know you don't have a lot of time. I just wanted to, to explain. Now, one evening I saw a pair of underwear floating. I told you that, mm -hmm. and I had told Larry this, and you know he whatever uh -huh. and patty and then patty came back from where she was at later on in the week from her mother's and we had went out one afternoon to stand over here this big stand here okay i'm focusing on that right and now we came back it was sitting up on this chair and on this table okay books everywhere this, this thing was all everything and it was very heavy and there's no way larry could have lifted it Okay. Because Larry has no, no yeah, legs. Yeah, has no legs. Okay. okay. He's handicapped. As you can see, he's handicapped. He's handicapped. So this was up there. I said, Larry, how did that get up there? He says, I was sitting here, minding my business, and I heard footsteps in the house. Okay. I turned my head to see that in an air lift and go that way and tip and over that no way. And there's no way there could have been anybody because well, it was locked. Well, the, the, the psychic... The impressions that that I get from the house is that even though you guys, and I am getting this from the house, um, even though that you guys had a sort of exorcism performed, I believe you have some very bad entities in the house. And I, I don't think, over there. Yeah. yeah, I did right too. Peter. I don't yeah. know why, I don't know yeah. if I grabbed it on camera or I not. I think I did. But, yeah. um... Uh -huh. Here's the thing, um, Peter. Um, <laughs> don't be afraid. Peter, I don't know if why um, she blotches of mist. Yeah, I all see kinds stuff. Every once in a while, I see stuff go flying. Especially at night. What I'm telling you is that at first, in when I first nine, the the three a.m. activity is hot in here. Oh. When I first came in, what I was feeling was what almost seemed to be some type of residual energy. Um, but now, um, I'm finding that that's not what it is, that you do have an energy here. I would like to go into the basement. It seems to me that probably rituals were performed there because yeah, I'm being drawn to the basement. Were. We were told by and a week later loose. after this incident with Larry, you know, witnessing this, one morning I came out here and this big green chair with all this stuff oh, right yeah, there was through. actually upside down. Yeah. And I said, Larry, what's the head game in this place? Larry, so he and that's where he come out and said, this place is haunted, can't you tell? Well, here's what I want to tell you. I have equipment that can be left here overnight. You guys can talk. You can have a TV on. You can do whatever you want to do. It will pick up spirit communication and spirit talking. So if they're talking to you, if they're whispering to you, if sometimes evil spirits can whisper and talk things that the spoken word can create... A disconnection of reality with your mind. It can bring bad luck. It can bring all kind of things. I want to see if that's going on right now. I do feel some stuff from the basement. Basement. So let's go on down there. You guys ready? Oh, we were told. We were told that there was a friend of Ruth. Do you want to be in the video or no? Another friend of Ruth. Okay. And they're down in the call. How do the and he has a black book called the Black now, Book. Now, when we were on the phone spells, with the preacher again, evil spells. Something was flying around, smacking these walls. Oh yeah, we definitely heard it. And Larry, you heard that. that oh, night. that one time the clock fell down. I I see you have security cameras as well. What 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 are they for? That's um, the security we were being, of the, we were being a, to say if no one comes on there and steals anything. Yeah, we okay. were aggravated by a lot of people doing damage from the outside around the house. No, okay. Several, several no, 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 that's it. Here's the door. Yeah. You know, okay. Who's out there in the porch and what? Yeah, 